America is a very large country with a lot of different landscapes. It is also home to some very wealthy people who have left their mark on the country's wealth. Who are the families that control the US economy? Let us take you on an exciting journey as we reveal the secrets of these powerful families and discover how much money they have. Hold on tight, because we're going to talk about the families that own America. 10. Duncan Family The Duncan family owns a significant oil company worth $60 billion. The family's fortune began with Dan Duncan. Despite his struggles, Dan used his experiences to drive his success. In 1957, he started his own business after 11 years in the oil industry. After investing $10,000 in propane supply trucks, Dan went public in 1998, and by 2010, the company held over 48,600 meters of pipelines. All four of his children are now billionaires. However, their fortunes were not built with the help of the NASA's. 9. Hearst Family The Hearst family, a wealthy family from the 1800s, created the modern newspaper and a million-dollar art collection. William Randolph Hearst, born in 1863, started his newspaper business with control of the San Francisco Examiner before moving to New York City and buying the New York Journal. Despite facing financial struggles, he continued to expand his art collection and eventually sold his animals to the Air Zoo. After World War II, Hearst left his fortune to his children, leaving it worth $28 billion today. The family story is a testament to the power and influence of the Hearst family. 8. Johnson Family in 1886, Robert Johnson started his own company, Johnson & Johnson, with his brothers, who initially started the business with a different name. After losing money, Robert joined the three brothers and joined the business, which quickly grew to 14 workers and made over $800,000 a month. They also published modern methods of antiseptic wound treatment, which were sent to 85,000 doctors and chemists worldwide. The company grew significantly during World Wars I and Tai and the 1918 pandemic. In 1944, the company went public and began to expand globally. The company eventually purchased other companies and has since cleaned up and improved its reputation. 7. Pritzker Family The Pritzker family, known for their hotel business, has been on Forbes' list of the 10 richest families since 1982. Jay Pritzer and his brother Donald built the first Hyatt Hotel in 1957, which led to their wealth. The family has over 10 adult cousins who own the family's assets through a complicated web of private trusts. After Jay's death in 1999, disagreements arose, leading to Lisa Pritzer and her brother filing a lawsuit for $500 million. Lisa and her brother sought to uncover the truth about Robert's alleged ties to the family which made it public in 2002, despite the family's efforts to keep everything secret. 6. S.C. Johnson Family The S.C. Johnson Company, a global privately owned business, has a net worth of $37 billion. Founded in 1886 as a flooring business, the company expanded into wax products and a bug killer in 1955. The company is still family-owned and in its fifth generation, showcasing that even a simple business can make a significant profit. The company's success is attributed to its focus on sustainability and the power of media. The company's legacy demonstrates that even a simple business can make a significant profit, demonstrating the importance of perseverance and innovation in business. 5. Cox Family The Cox family, known for their dull image, began their media empire in 1898 when James Cox bought the Dayton Daily News. They wanted to avoid being connected to politicians or advertising, which led to a successful business. The Cox family then expanded their media company by buying newspapers like the Atlanta Journal and the Atlanta Constitution. In the 1960s, they expanded into car evaluations and continued to grow by buying other businesses. The family also runs Auto Trader, an online car market, which is a huge company in its field. The Cox family's success can be learned from their ability to control businesses for decades without public family drama or debate. 4. Cargill Family the Cargill family, the largest private company in the U.S., controls a significant portion of the world's food supply. With over 140 years of business, they have made more money in 2021 than Morocco's GDP. The family owns 88% of the business, which has been involved in processing, delivering, and selling food to major food chains like McDonald's, Burger King, and Safeway. Despite scandals such as palm oil production, social conflict, at the 1970 mercury contamination of sea grain in Iraq, the family has managed to maintain their privacy. 
3. Mars Family The Mars family is known for their candy business, Snickers Milky Way bars, Twix, and more. They are private and rarely give interviews, making them the richest family in America. The Mars family's history dates back to 1911, when founder Frank Mars learned how to dip chocolates by hand. The candy business hasn't changed much, but the Mars family may change to keep up with younger generations and their habit of making cavities. The Mars family's success may be influenced by their efforts to keep up with the younger generation. 2. Koch Family The Koch family, the largest privately held company in the United States, has built a fortune while promoting controversial views such as spending millions to stop efforts to stop climate change and raise the minimum wage. The family business began as an oil refining business in 1940 and has since expanded into chemicals, paper products, and venture capital. After the death of their father, Charles became CEO, and the brothers, Frederick and Bill, were exposed for allegedly buying out for $800 million in 1983. Charles expanded the business into chemicals, paper products, and venture capital, making it an enormous $125 billion a year. 1. Walton Family The Walton family, worth over $200 billion, has grown Walmart from one store to over 11,000 worldwide. The company has over 2.2 million employees and made over $143 billion in revenue last year. Despite their wealth, the family struggles to pay their starting wage of $11 an hour. Walmart's growth has not been driven by selling the entire business or taking on venture capital. As of 2018, the family still owns just under 50% of the business. This is it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, then share your thoughts in the comments and also share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you can never miss our video.